I'm right. trying to be ready. I'm short. Anybody think that that's an eagle? It's raining and we're driving. So, where are we going? You said let's get in the car and go. Where are we going? Well, I'm not 100% sure. I've just been cooped up in the house all week. Okay, yeah, you've been busy. Um, <laughs> it's been a long week, so I just got to blow the cobwebs out. Um, and we didn't bother putting our raining gear, so uh, we're not well, going to Well, I have do... my rain gear in my backpack. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we've got something, but at any rate, we're just headed up to Alton to see what we can see. Okay, well, um... Matt tells us all the time how much he likes driving out Highway 94, and that's what we're doing today. We're actually driving north, east... Uh, yes. Yes, on on Highway 94. So uh, we re highly recommend the drive. But Matt, why do you highly recommend the drive? Well, I do like a curvy road, and that's what this is. Now, this particular stretch, which is, as Kay said, northeast, specifically from St. Charles County, um, is more of a sweepy type of a drive. There aren't the- Sweepy. Yeah, there's the, the curves are more of a sweeping curves and it's not, it's, I wouldn't call it very technical. It's it's an easy drive, but that it's- twisty turning. Yeah, it's easy drive. There are curves, but it's not super, there are not tons of tight turns. Like other parts, if you go Southwest on 94, mostly West, uh, what you get, out in the sticks that way there are a lot more curvy roads and it's a more difficult ride but this part here is just relax enjoy the trip and that's uh, really what i needed today that's gonna be our next rv y'all here it comes never know what you're gonna see on highway 94. So we come out here to Ellis Island. It's a fishing spot, but it's also a bird watching spot. Um, and um, we normally see some birds out here. In the winter time, we see swans. And that was, that was a fun, fun time. But anyway, uh, this is a great place to look for eagles and things like that. I think it's still too warm for eagles, but I'm gonna show you what we're seeing. So right there between those two clumps of trees, you can see a building and it's called the Audubon Center of the Riverlands. And we've been there before. It's a really nice visitor center and they really like to tell you about the birds in the area because Audubon Center and all. But anyway, so we've been there before. You can see that in our Eagle Days video on the inside or you can just come visit. It's just west of Alton, Illinois. This is a good place to stay away from people. Yeah, there were about four or five cars in the parking lot and we've seen a few folks and I'm sure we'll see a few more, but there's plenty of room. We've been out here in the winter in the past and we've gotten some pictures of ice and snow. birds and snow and cardinals. dead grass. <laughs> Very exciting winter photography. <laughs> Something like that. We always like exploring these little paths that we find that are off the main path at a place. Kind of get away from more of the people, although it's not that quiet here because we're right next to the road. But still, you do get a visual change of pace. It's kind of neat.
All right, well, we're at the river. And we're going to head back. Oh, well, yeah, we're at the bridge of the Alt. The bridge of the Alton? <laughs> <laughs> the, the bridge over the Mississippi that goes to Alton. We're going to head back to the car now and go on back up to um, head on into Alton and go north on the river road and maybe make our way over to Pierre Marquette. Um, but I'm not I'm sure. I'm going to see if we can see the eagle too. Okay, yeah, we found an eagle earlier. And we kind of got off trail to get down here to the river. Be very quiet. We're hunting eagles. Not really. We're not hunting anything. But there is an eagle behind us that you cannot see in my view. But maybe Kay will get it and you'll see it on that one. Yep, there it goes. Fly it away. We're going to go into Alton and up the Great River Road. Great River Road. Okay, so the Great River Road goes from like Illinois clear up to Minnesota, I want to say. And it's really, it's really a great road. If you like to drive and like to just scenic road trip, it's a good one. And so we're going to go through Alton right now, so into Illinois and up the Great River Road. So I'll give you some views along the way and maybe I can talk Matt into pulling into the parking lot for the Piasa bird. Oh, nice. We saw eagles and now we've seen the piasaw. Piasaw bird. So the legend over there on the thing is really long. Like Oh, all right, we're not so going to read it to you then. We're not reading it to you, but basically it's a Native American legend and well, I'll put something in a voiceover. The piasaw bird is a local legend. It was given its name by the Illini Indians. The Piasa means bird that devours men. The local legend dates back to Pierre Marquette in his diary on his famous journey down the Mississippi River. The diary reads, The Piasa was as large as a calf with horns like a deer, red eyes, a beard like a tiger's, a face like a man, body covered with green, red, and black scales, and a tail so long it passed around the body, over the head, and between the legs. Yeah, this is one of my favorite roads in Illinois. Not that I've been on all of them, but of the ones I've been on, this is probably my favorite. And it's probably five or 10 miles long, and you get a lot of driving just along the river. And on the Goldwing, this was amazing because you just felt that cool, moist air coming off the river. It was especially great on a warmish day when you just needed a light breeze to cool you down. Man, it's a good room. We've never been here. I made him turn. <laughs> this could be interesting or really, really boring. Who knows? So far, it's a gravel road. <laughs> You like gravel roads. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of our adventures look like this. Okay, with the camera out panning things. This is a division of the Two Rivers National Wildlife Refuge. This refuge was established in 1958 to protect the habitat for migratory birds. Hey mister, can I have a ride? Yeah. Okay. We do like hiking in the rain, but it is a little crowded over here and it is harder to social distance on some crowd. of these trails in a crowd. So we are going to take you for some overlook views on the scenic drive here at Pierre Marquette. 
if you do want to see some of the hikes here at Pier Marquette State Park, I will put links in the description to our other hikes at Pier Marquette State Park. And you can see it at pretty much all times of the year. We've been here winter, spring, summer, and fall. So this will be a fall visit to the Overlooks. We have a very foggy river behind us, and this is one of the places that we like to come all the time. Uh, this is the first time we've been here up at this lookout when it's been raining, but it's got its own kind of beauty. It's pretty. I like it, though. Fall colors are starting to just peek out a little bit. This is such a great overlook. Maybe they, yeah. I'll show you. It's really raining now. And that was the overlook that wasn't, Matt said. <laughs> yeah, I was a little disappointed. I thought that one was better. Uh, I thought it was going to be a better one too. So flagpole overlook is kind of overgrown. Matt says there might be one more stop before we get home. But we're going to head in the homeward direction. As a rule, y'all, we're not political on this channel, but we find this message to be highly appropriate. And if in case if it's not clear, that is a poop truck. See you next time.